Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope everyone's doing well. Back again with the Christmas Kramer. Christmas Kramer. Hmm, I think that sounds pretty good. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with it. So I started putting things together over here in uh, the uh, Damasio pickup with the stock pickup ring that was came with this guitar. Um, I put it in place, mounted it, and I don't have a like really good straight edge. I kind of do, but I kind of don't. So I ended up grabbing you know, my notch straight edge for the neck. Figured well, that's a flat, it's flat, it'll work. And kind of ran across the bottom of the neck to the bridge to see um, kind of how much clearance I have between the pickup and where the strings would be and stuff. Now, these set screws were kind of embedded into the saddles. You didn't see the tops of the uh, set screws. They were in there. So the action height of this thing was at 764, so it was kind of high. And the one thing that uh, I noticed when I had the put the pickup back on here, that the pickup was really tall. I mean, it stood up pretty high. Even if I sunk down, uh, you know, lowered the pickup more into the cavity of the body, uh, it still was um it still was pretty tall all right so i'm looking at the pickup ring and this is basically a les paul style neck pickup ring okay it's got a taper on one end thicker on the other and when it was on here it's like wow you know that's really close to the strings so i was thinking well i'll go through my box of stuff and i've got tons of different parts here I've got extra extra pickup rings and I got a bunch of um, pickup rings for Ibanez's which I could probably put one on put one of the Ibanez rings on here so let's see which one is this one is this the chrome or just a black chrome see I can even put one of these on here and it will fit too it kind of match match with everything here yeah it wouldn't look too bad but I think this will be too thin, may not look right, so I'm not going to put that on there. The pickup will be raised up quite a bit. So what I've got here is another Les Paul style pickup ring. The only difference with this is it's about a sixteenth difference on one side. So what a tall side is, is about a sixteenth, sixteenth difference. Not much, you know, you wouldn't think a 16th would be that much, but I tell you what, maybe in this here, it'll make a big, big deal compared to what uh, it was. So, I'm going to mount that. I'm going to take my straight edge. Right now, the neck is not tied down. I don't have it screwed in, but I do have it leveled out with the body. So, the body is sitting, you know, body is sitting with the guitar right now. Um, what's underneath this thing? Okay, it's the screws for the neck so it's in place and if i run my straight edge i know i'm not using again the right one but i'm not letting it fall into the uh it's sitting on top of the frets so right now as it sits i am basically right on top of the saddle now the set screws i got the set screws on the saddles kind of even right now to where there's almost an even amount of threads on the bottom and an even amount of threads on the top compared to what it was so and i look at where the pickup is and it, it actually is clearing pretty good now so i can actually lower the pickup down raise the action height a little bit and be able to clear with no problems now i'm hoping i don't have to shim this neck in order to, because it doesn't look like it. it looks like it this is going to fall into place but in case i do have to shim it I, I was already ready with some material i've got some um uh was it uh flame maple veneer which is a little bit on the thick side but i also have a small piece of uh, acrylic which i had it sitting here somewhere i don't know what the hell i did with it but it was sitting here someplace see-through so it's gonna be a little bit hard to see but anyways uh, I had that over here too and I was thinking maybe I can use that acrylic give me a little bit but there is there is a taper in the neck so the neck is tilted a little bit back I don't want to add too much more to it because um, yeah that could be you can add too much angle to your neck and create more problems so what I'm going to end up doing is just using the thinner 
Les Paul style pickup ring and that should give me what I'm looking for so that pickup isn't so high up and so sunken into the cavity you know kind of get it like an even look to it so it won't look funny so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that um, I'm not I'm gonna leave the neck off of it right now because I'm gonna be flipping this thing over I got my push and pull switch it's an audio taper 500k uh, that's going inside this thing and let's get to work All right, so I'm pretty much down to the last part of this, finishing up with the wiring. The pickup's installed, the cavities are all shielded, everything has a link from one ground to another ground to another ground, and all I'm left with is, is just long ground wire here, which I left long on purpose. Now this is the remainder part of the ground wire coming from the pickup that uh, I end up trimming down, otherwise I would have had about a I don't know, seven inch, six inch, six and a half inch long wire looped up inside of here, and I don't like that. Uh, the more loops you have in a wire, regardless if it's it's anything, um, it kind of adds resistance to, you know, makes kind of makes a, a, a resistor, and I don't want to do that with this either. I know I do have a kind of a long wire here for the output jack, but that's not like several loops. <coughs> Excuse me. So right now, uh, everything has got a chain going to it as far as the ground goes. So if I take my multimeter and put it on continuity, I should get a sound if I tap this part here of the shielding to say the claw. Alright, or to this wire here, or to the top of the switch. So everything should be connected. Now, another thing as well is if I flip this thing over, if I get inside the side over here and tap right here on the edge of the shielding and go to the bridge, see I'm connected. So I know that that shielding inside there is also doing its job as far as being a ground. Now I left this wire up long, I really don't need it, I can cut it off if I wanted to and just get rid of it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go an extra step with this to ensure good grounding. Now I need a drill bit approximately smaller than the shank of this screw. Not the threads, but the shank of it. So that's in between the threads. And should go down, just to be safe, go down a couple more drill bits. Yeah, that'll work. Now what I'm gonna do over here is just ensure a good solid, good solid grounding system. Yes, I'm going to drill a hole into this guitar. So I want to make sure all my wires are out of the way, find a spot and kind of put a small hole in this place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this screw here, which is a wood screw with a large head, find my Phillips that fits the screw, and I love these screwdrivers. These are for doing uh, electrical work. Say if you're doing work in a um, uh, panel, electric panel or something, they're shielded to where you're not going to get electrocuted. I've got a whole set of these things. I mean, like I said, we used to do all of our own stuff over here and never hire anybody to do anything. All right, so I got that in there. Now what I want to do is I want to take this, wrap it around a couple of times. Leave a little bit of slack in it, kind of hold it so it doesn't twist when I tighten it up, pull the ground off of the switch. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I'm going to have to make this just a little bit looser because it wants to twist itself when I turn it. Not a big deal. So if I go here, wrap this around a couple times, and go ahead and tighten this up. I got enough here to where it's not going to pull the switch now. There you go. 
So that's my extra grounding. Just kind of like a guarantee. And get rid of that long wire. So I don't need that anymore. So that's it. I can put the cover on this now. Now, the cover, all right, say if you did all this work with shielding and uh, you don't put any shielding, say, on the cover, uh, well, you did all that work for nothing. And uh, yeah, so let me get some of the dust out of here before I sealed this up. I can never stand having a, opening up a guitar cavity and finding all kinds of wood shavings and stuff. That gets inside of your pot and it's gonna like make it a scratchy pot. So this has already been shielded and I mean, I guess it's all right. I, mean, I can't complain. It's, it's gonna, yeah, so that's fine. I can use it, not a big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this over here. So as you can see with it on there, you don't see any of the shielding going around it. Nice, clean job. I can close that up, that's done. So let me find my screws for that. There should be four of them. And this part here, you really don't want to use uh, any power tool, especially for screws this small, because you can and possibly will um, strip them out. So I'm just going to go ahead and do them by hand, holding the plate down. So if somebody else goes inside here later on, they're not going to sit there and say, what the hell did this guy do? You know what I mean? Although they might say that anyways because of all the shielding tape and, and all the extra grounding and stuff that's been done, which is not a bad idea. I'm going to have to do some polishing a little bit on this body because I've been kind of manhandling a little bit. All right, so... That's it for that. So we got a push and pull now. And I've already tested it out, uh, hooked it up to an amplifier and kind of tapped on a little bit to see what she's going to do, what she sounds like, and she's working. So now, I don't know. I don't like that. But I can go with a metal one or I can go with a speed knob. So I go with a smaller one. That kind of looks all right. Doesn't look too bad. Or I can go with the speed knob. It's got the numbers on it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Does it uh, speed knob, metal one, or the original? The original is too plain. I don't like it. So it's a choice between those two. I don't have. Uh, I don't have a chrome one. I thought I did, but I don't have a chrome one. So I ordered a bunch of these guys, and I ordered a bunch of these guys, and uh, yeah, so I've got plenty of them to go around. So here's the old switch, and from what I've heard from uh, Wicked Fester, and thanks for telling me about this, that this is supposed to act like a tone bleed or a trouble bleed or something, but I guess it just cuts out at a certain point, and yeah. So there's no tone control on this at all. Your tone is going to be your push and pull here for getting a different type of a sound. So. What I have next to do is just to put the neck on. I can't string her up, which, which this is the last part of it that that's kind of uh, I have to wait for. So it's going to give me time to create a new nut for this thing. Yeah, I'm kind of going all out on this one too. If I can't modify it the way I modified the blue one, at least I'm going to modify this enough. Uh, the bridge seems to be okay. It doesn't look like it, it's like a problem or will be a problem. Um, and get locking tuners for it so that'll be the next step i just have to wait for the tuners to show up and uh then i can call this complete so you probably won't see a video about this for a while you know this is basically kind of done um if you wanted to with this thing here uh you could put another tap off of the switch which would be the red wire tap off of that and go to a switch and now you could turn it into a single coil which I was kind of looking at that. I was like, hmm, should I? Mm, I don't want to put a bunch of stuff all over this thing. It's too clean. So, choice here. Which knob? 
We have the numbered speed knob, just in black with the, uh, you know, just the writing going through it. Or we have a knurled smaller knob. They'll both fit. They'll both still be able to push and pull and uh, for the switch. Uh, that kind of looks a lot cleaner because it's smaller. And yeah, this kind of just looks a little bit big, but it's up to you guys. Give me an idea which one to put on here. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for sticking around with all this. Uh, good luck to everybody on both contests. I, I wish I could do more for you guys uh, every year, but uh, you know, I got a family too and, and got to take care of them. So take it easy. Early Merry Christmas, early Happy Thanksgiving. Be safe. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of states are going back into lockdowns, and countries are going back into lockdowns again. Myself, we are on a 30-day stay-at-home. Not really an order, but uh, basically, kind of like you know, it's up to us if we want to stay home or not. But they are recommending that we should or still stay whatever all right you guys take care have a good one and uh catch up with you all later